As a result of the shooting in Allen June 30th, which resulted in the death of three officers, many organizations are offering grief counseling services to the families and those affected by the tragedy. Governor Andy Bashir ensured that counseling is available not only on the state level, but within the affected communities. Uh, there's assistance either right now, you know, even outside the funerals, the Billy Graham Foundation is there. Uh, but we have assistance for law enforcement that is there on a statewide level, uh, as well as on um, the, the county and community level. Uh, we're making sure that that grief counseling is available and also help going forward. You know, we've, we've been through a lot of trauma in the last couple of years, some of it overt like this, some of it having our lives turned upside down, and it can accumulate. And something like this on top of all the rest can just be so much. And so I hope everyone will get that help. Uh, I know some of our groups are actually mandating a little bit of it in the beginning, and that's a good thing. There shouldn't be any stigma. Everybody can get a little bit of help uh, to move forward. It's all in our hands, this life of time that's given to us all. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. Experienced heart specialist and subspecialist collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac, electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is the Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. When it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. While the funeral services have concluded, Bashir stresses the importance to continue support for the affected communities. Uh, we mainly need to make sure we're there for the families and the communities, not just today and tomorrow when all the focus will be there, but in the weeks and the months and the years to come. That's meeting some of the needs of the law enforcement community. It's meeting some of the needs of the broader community. And it's making sure we're there for those kids and spouses and loved ones that are uh, really, really hurting. And we have to call out um, these acts of violence every single time. Uh, Anti-government groups, domestic terrorists, uh, there can be no room for them to operate in our communities or in our state. Floyd County Crisis Fund is accepting donations, which will be used to help officers and their families, as well as the affected departments. To donate, go to AppalachianKY.org. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brian Robinson.